Hello, First Presbyterian Church family. Pastor Dan here with a word of encouragement. And you are looking right now at my cell phone screen. And I'm showing it to you because this on it right now came to me this morning from First Presbyterian Church Visalia. Thanksgiving prayers for the people of God, Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. And throughout the week, we wake up in the morning as a church family, finding an email from First Presbyterian that has this beautiful thought, devotional thought, like the one here from Frederick Buechner, and then a written prayer that helps us focus for our day on God and God's will for our lives. And this is such a amazing blessing uh, that has been being provided to us as a church family uh, since last March uh, when our interaction with each other became highly more restricted. And I know that these prayers, uh, they come uh, four to five times a week, have been incredible blessings to me and to numerous folks out there. And I know that this has inspired, for some of you all, a desire to pray even more. And so I wanted to share another resource that I enjoy uh, on a regular basis and it's called Lectio 365. You can see it right there. And this is a free app that you can download from uh, your favorite app store, be it Apple or uh, be it Droid. And it's got a devotional each day that is written to be like a Lectio Divina, where you use scripture and prayer together. And there's just a reading option, but there's also a, a, a voice option that you can hear. And so you get instructions there on your phone, and you can also press play. Today you... is Wednesday, the 18th of November. And this week, we are exploring the practice of learning in the book of Psalms, the ancient songs of Israel that became Jesus' prayer book and mine. Each day, we will P-R-A-Y. P, pause to be still. And so that gives you a little sample of the voice that comes across. It's a different voice each week. But these are ways that were helped in staying in connection with God and with the greater church. And so use these as an encouragement in your daily life. God bless you all.